Namaste, Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Cross Watchers, and other interested parties. Happy birthday, Aries, Suns. This is your bi-weekly reading for the period of April 1st through the 15th. Um, I do want to start, I don't, some of you may know if you watch my other videos, that my channel, since I've been on, and to this day, primarily I read for divine beings, twin flames, um, spiritual people, ascended beings, conscious people, whatever you want to call it. Although you can't really tell with what YouTube has done to my channel by not putting the videos out um, over the past year or two. It's just been like a pretty steady decline in the views with whatever's been going on with YouTube from when it's beginning from when it changed hands with Google and all this stuff. Um, I can't really tell anymore that that's primarily who I, who I read, for whom I read, because sometimes I'm only getting like 200, 300 views on these videos and on the astrological readings, you know, several thousand. I'm appreciative, of, you know, of that. I'm not complaining, but um, I still have a focus. And so some of you may be those people, right? right? It might apply, apply to you. So I've just been talking today about um, a few of the different scriptures and and, pol and prophecies in general with some of my viewers and supporters, my Patreon subscribers and all that. And I just wanted to go over um, or, or give you guys something to think about too. And it is Isaiah 26, 20 through 21. Come my people, enter thou into thy chambers and shut thy doors about thee. Hide thyself as if it were for a little moment until the indignation be overpassed. For behold, the Lord cometh out of this place to punish the inhabitants of the earth for their inequity. The earth also shall disclose her blood and shall no more cover her slain. And it basically says, shut yourself in your house, lock the door. As a matter of fact, I think the translations through some of the current Bibles is over like 100 different versions of the Bible. And I think some of the current versions um, very like more clearly say, lock your doors, stay inside. It's only temporary, um, you know, and it sounds familiar. This thing is only temporary too. It shall pass, but yeah, the earth is going through some sort of cleansing. The world is going through some sort of cleansing, um, be it natural or unnatural. I have my opinion about it. I say unnatural that this is something that was created, but we all can have our thoughts and, you know, no judgment from me. Just wanted to put that out there, give it something to think about, because I've been talking to other people about it, um, as well as some other scriptures. In fact, I also would like to share with you that I have asked on my YouTube IG, I believe, I got to double check that. I'm not sure I ever actually posted there, uh, although I went to, I think I may have gotten distracted, um, but certainly on my Facebook, asking that people at 10.10 10 a.m. and or p.m. every day, whenever they can, whatever days they're able and remember and, um, you know, it, are, are able to do it, that they uh, stop and pray or manifest, uh, make a focus intention. Again, whatever you want to call it. I know some people don't believe in God and that too is okay with me. No judgment from me. Um, but it's all the same in my mind. You know, the law of attraction, prayer, making an int focus intention is all the same. So I, I'd like to get it to spread um, as much as I'm able so that we can focus our energy and hopefully help to heal the world. Um, some of you also may know that I am capable of healing things, people, um, to an extent at least, with my mind. And doing a lot of things with my mind, actually. You know, making things happen. But sometimes I need help. So I'll just give you an example. About a month ago, my car wouldn't start. It just would not start. Uh, and it was like, not just... At, you know, that the, in the moment when I tried to start it, it wouldn't start. I went back to it later, it wouldn't start. And I've started my car with my mind before. And I tried, and I wasn't able. I knew then, 
I had to contact my kid's father. All right, it might sound crazy, but I knew then I had to ask him to help me because he's capable of these things too. Um, not as much as me, but together we're like, you know, like real wonder twins. And we, I joke about it, like wonder twins, because we both Gemini's too, like the sign of the twin. And so, um, sure enough, I had talked about it with my um, patron subscribers that day too in a daily reading. I said, my car won't start, but tomorrow I'm going to call him and I'm going to ask him to help me. And sure enough, when I did, I went down to my car, it started. Everything was all like the the, um, the clock had to be reset, which was like the battery had been dead, you know. And matter of fact, I had asked the guys in my garage because I park in an indoor garage to give me a jump, and they tried and it didn't work. This was the night before, and they said it has to be an alternator, and I said no, it's not my alternator. Like I knew that somebody was messing with me. That much I could tell. I'm like, no, it's not my alternator, but thank you. And that's when I called my ex-husband and said, I need your help. I need you to help me start the car. <laughs> um, so we made the focus intention, long story short. And that's what I'm asking um, for people to do around the world, you know, to the extent that I'm able to reach them. I, I may even put some money into it, into advertising my post. Um, I'll think about it. All right. So anyway, let's get to you more. Let's focus on you guys now. Um, Aries, beginning with, well, I'll just tell you what I, what I got here so far. So this is the right away tarot. Um, I'm sure you guys are pretty familiar with this one. And we're starting with the nine of wands. So the nine of wands is a card about perseverance, whatever, and whatever you have been manifesting or working on manifesting, it likely hasn't come to complete fruition yet. Do not give up. Do not let what we're going through as a country, as a, as, as a world, um, you know, stop you from what you've been trying to manifest. It's just like a veil. It's just like um, a distraction. And I don't want to minimize the people who've been um, made ill and certainly not the people who have lost their lives or their family members or friends if any you know anybody's listening and they've lost anybody i'm not trying to um, make light of it at all but what i'm saying is um overall it is something that we will get through the world will get through will survive and it is temporary and so it's very important that you don't lose your faith if you've been focused on something and, and trying to manifest something, some sort of change or abundance in your life. Keep going. And the next card, this is of your element, by the way, too. The wands represent um, the fire sign. So, of course, you are a fire sign Aries, the first one. You're the first sign in the zodiac period, but the first one of the fire signs, too. Um, Behind it, also upright, is the Three of Wands. So the Three of Wands is about manifestation as well. As a matter of fact, num the number three is about manifestation. And it's also about um, abundance that you help to bring about in your own life in creative ways. It is about creativity. It is about abundance. It is about, it's a spiritual number two, the creator right? Creativity and the creator. So God, um, in terms of love, cause I know I'm just looking at what's here too, which I'll show you in a second. The nine of wands for love can mean that your partner needs some space or you need some space. Maybe you both need some space and maybe that's because you've been stuck in the house together. Um, you know, in this isolation period or just a lot closer quarters than what you're used to. Uh, you might need some sort of break. And I guess they could also be using it to represent the fact that some of us are, are on a forced break. Um, but then when I couple it with the Three of Wands, again, in general, the Three of Wands is, um, I started to talk about manifestation. So when we see multiple ones, like when, you know, a lot of us, when we begin to be awakened, um, we see the 1111, you know, and other repeating numbers. So 1111 
is like an alarm that goes off and it's the universe trying to remind you or multiple ones in general, the universe trying to remind you or to alert you in that moment. Hey, 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 like watch your thoughts, you know, because this is a period you're, right now you're manifesting, you know, like right now you're really in a moment of manifestation. So think about something positive. Think about what, you know, what you want, what you need in your life um, and how you're going to attract it to you, how you're going to draw it to you. So that's the one. And then twos, twos have several meanings as well, um, but one of them is faith. And so in terms of manifestation, the one is the thought or the idea. The two is the faith that we can actually bring it to pass. And then the three is when it starts to take form. And maybe we can even see it in a tangible way. Like we can see it taking form and we can see like soon I'm going to get this. Or we receive word. We receive a letter in the mail. Um, like this is coming, you know. Um, expect your check next month or whatever it is, or, uh, you're hired, but you know, you don't start today. You got to go to training first, you know, so there's some sort of waiting period and that requires patience, but the manifestation is happening. So together, these two cards say, again, keep going. Don't stop. Don't let anything around you or the, you know, stop you or hold you back, inhibit you, um, cause you to move into fear, go into fear. And, you know, you have to watch out for fear mongers because they're definitely out there. And this is only temporary. Healing is coming. Healing is coming. Um, Major Arcana card 14, Temperance, represents most directly in the tarot, the sign of Sagittarius. For me, that's traditional tarot practice. But for me, it represents most of all the sign of Aquarius. This is the water bearer. I don't care what anybody says. This um, angel red-winged angel is pouring water between two vessels and sta standing in a pool of water. What more illustration of a water bearer could there be? <laughs> you know, so it always brings to me the sign of Aquarius, but again, traditional tarot practice is um, that this represents the sign of Sagittarius, your fellow, um, fellow fire signs. So some of you may have a Sagittarius that is significant in your life, or maybe you yourself are double fire or something. Uh, in any case, this, this uh, angel has a triangle on his chest. That's another three. And I think it ties in with these cards that we've already seen. And it's again saying, you know, that it's close to the chest too. So it's like something that, that is dear to you, something that you've been working on, something that's in your heart, to, to do or to bring to you or someone that's in your heart to, to do or bring to you. And so that's what you're working on. And maybe that person is an Aquarius also. You know, that's a possibility for the Aquarian energy to be involved. Uh, the uh, sign of Aquarius is also about communication, like all air signs are um, in some way, shape or form. And um, especially communication like that involves technology. So texting or online dating or Skype or WhatsApp or Zoom maybe these days or WebEx, all those kind of things could be tied to the energy of Aquarius. And maybe that's how you're communicating with somebody. Um, there was something else I was going to say to you about this. Oh, um, temperance can also have to do with negotiations and collaboration and trying to work something out and maybe even forgiveness and you know, meeting each other halfway, I'll give here, you give there, we'll come together, or um, being able to move forward despite our differences, you know, okay, you know, you're um, black, I'm white, I had trouble with it before, or you had trouble with it before, accepting it or figuring out how we're going to work together, but no more, you know, are we concerned with that and we can move forward. This is healing. For me, um, temperance represents healing and holding. Because it's also about recovery and restoration where you lack something before or where something was lost or taken from you. It is restored. You are made whole again. So that could be too. Somebody might need to keep pushing, keep persevering because maybe you lost something. Maybe you lost your job with what's going on. But it, there's uh, energy um, showing up from the universe. This is, you know, the, the, um, the um, major arcana cards for me like are extremely karmic meaning of the universe. I know like also karmic has come to be known as like a derogatory term that represents, you know, the, the, um, 
the side chick or dude or whatever. Like, but really what karmic means is of the universe containing a lesson to be learned. And so, um, you know, it's like we, we, we have free will. But our free will doesn't affect whether or not this energy comes to pass. Like there's, we're, con we're in control in all situations of our actions and reactions. But with the minor arcana cards, they often have things that we can just simply avoid. And this is like an energy that, the karmic energy for me um, is like an energy that's coming through no matter what. And, you know, d we're in control of how we respond to it how we react, right? Our actions and our reactions. But whether or not it's happening, like we can't control that. That's the universe of that, you know, something is happening. In this case, something positive, again. Um, so being made whole, something being restored. So I think I stopped at three before, but obviously four is when you successfully manifested something. So like the four of wands would be, you know, the happiness card, home and hearth, something going on in your household, your family, commitments, even marriage, signing contracts in a positive sense, buying a home, selling a home, remodeling your home. Maybe you're doing, you know, working on those things while you're stuck inside. And after the holding and um, healing happens, look, restored to your full glory. This is you, Aries, the king of wands upright. And, you know, he is majestic. He is um, definitely an Aries like yourself or a Leo or a Sagittarius, like we've already seen show up too, or someone likened to those traits or attributes. And he's positive in every area of your life that he show in which he shows up. If he's showing up in your work sector, for example, um, it's, it's very possibly an opportunity, a promotion, a new job, um, where you need one or some sort of somebody's stepping in to, uh, facilitate a better situation for you, negotiate a better situation for you, him tied in with the uh, temperance card could definitely be some sort of negotiation on your behalf or on people's behalf in general, if it's a larger situation. Um, temperance, again, being representing the sign of Sagittarius. Sagittarius is ruled by Jupiter. Jupiter, like the daddy of all planets, but more importantly, um, both the god and the planet of karma. Luck growth, expansion. So like moving forward and um, receiving abundance, basically. So um, this is definitely super positive. I keep staring at this gecko that I don't believe I've ever necessarily stared at before. And I'm not sure why. Maybe something else will come up for me with that um, during the reading. So I spent a lot of time on the Rider Waite cards, but with the um, this is a combination of my angel and um, animal tarot decks, and with this, we we have an overall energy of the Ten of Summer or Ten of Cups. It's time to express your love and appreciation for family, be it relatives or a chosen family of close friends. Congratulations may be in order on a happy, fulfilling marriage as well as raising happy and balanced children. And here, the King of winter or swords is also upright. He is intelligent, impartial, respected, and unemotional. At this time, it's very important that you communicate clearly, be objective and unemotional, and act as professionally as possible. If you need advice, seek out the most experienced expert that you can find. If this is somebody with whom you're dealing, perhaps an Aquarius, maybe that's why, again, the, uh, temp the um, temperance card showed up, it can be a Gemini or a Libra as well, or, or maybe not an air sign at all. Someone just likened to those traits or attributes, maybe extremely diplomatic and authoritative. And he says what he means and he means what he says and all those things. Um, if you're dealing with somebody like that, they are not somebody that you can change. You have to accept them as they are. You definitely have to accept them as they are, especially if it's like a romantic situation. So that could be, again, coming together, like saying, despite our differences that, you know, you, you're pretty stubborn and, and stuck in your ways and whatever, and I'm more flexible, we can still come together. That's just an example of that. All right. So let's see what else you got, Aries. 
Looks like your first card is the Three of Wands yeah, in reverse. I saw it as I was trying to pick them up. Let's just put this here also to remind us what your overall energy was. So the card most directly, or put it here, most directly representing you um, over the next two weeks is the Three of Pentacles in reverse. And that's um, a positive omen too. Tends to mean positive things in your work um, and finance uh, sector, but also really um, says like, don't slack off. So connected, for example, to this nine of pentacles, this is like, keep pushing, keep going. Like, don't give up now. Don't slack off. Now's not the time to, you know, like relax and or rest on your laurels. Whether that means you're looking for a job or you already got one and you're trying to get that promotion, trying to get moved up or, you know, whatever, like you be Continue to be the standout that you've been so that, you know, when there is an opportunity to work from home or to, um, you know, get hazard pay and or to stay on, they got a you know, company, unfortunately, has to lay some people off. But who are they keeping? You know, they're keeping you because you never um, changed your commitment. Right. You never you never lost that fire that Aries is known for. And you kept pushing. Um. In a general sense, when it's reversed, it's also about like um, not not just taking the easy way out or settling on the most simplest solution. It's important to like always, again, give your best. So I guess that, you know, it pretty much ties into what I was already saying. Um, specifically, as it relates to work, um, again, we got to watch out like so that you don't Slash, start slacking off in your work and giving like um, inferior quality product into your boss. You know, that, that something that they don't expect from you. They expect so much better than you. Why, be Definitely watch out for that. And in love, it's a good omen. You know, people get nervous about reverse cards and say like, oh my God, no. Um, it's actually a positive card, especially if you've been looking for uh, increasing your family, adding to your family. Again, maybe you're involved with an, an air sign and you guys want to have a baby. Um, definitely, it is a good time for you to work on increasing your family. Of course, the Ten of Cups is a card that is representative of family and is also like can be like a baby card for me. You know, um, a card about kids and, and all that kind of stuff. Definitely right now, um, higher than typical or usual fertility. If you're looking for love, this can also be a good time to meet new people. And you're probably going to say like, but how I'm stuck in the house. Um, very, very possibly through work or it, the, the, um, possibilities are increased in, if, in meeting, not only meeting somebody, but meeting somebody specifically through your work or uh, career, whether that means because it's a coworker, or you work with them or it's somebody you meet. So maybe let's say you are, you know, considered an essential worker and you're still out there, um, whether it's food service or, you know, grocery store, hardware store, whatever it is, somebody walks in, you know, they're your customer, they're your client, they're a vendor that can, that counts as through your work too. Um, or you're, you know, you're a responder, you're an EMT or you're a doctor, you're a nurse or something, you're a healthcare provider. Maybe you're meeting somebody like that. You're saving a patient and you guys are falling in love, you know, like in the, in the movies or the TV shows and stuff, that kind of stuff can happen. Um, we gotta be careful though of not like acting less than when the three of Pentacles shows up. Now I am with my, with my men in my relation, my romantic relationships. I am as, as, um, strong and, you know, powerful, whatever people, as people think me or that I am in my life. Otherwise I am what would be considered submissive with my men. There's a difference though, between submissive and subservient. Or, or you're right, and being like, like you're less than, like you're not their equal. And now that I've said that, actually, the three of wands, which was the card that was, it's here, right behind your overall energy, is a card that in terms of love says your love life is probably going awesome 
as you know, if you're in a committed relationship, for example, I mean, it means positive things. Um, absolutely for singles who are looking for love, like when you meet somebody, it would be some, or if you recently met somebody, they hold you in high regard, high esteem. That's what the three of wands is about. But for people that are already committed, it means your love life is going well. If the person considers you as their equal. So I talked about healing and holding, right? Being made whole, like there's two halves or whatever. So if somebody considers you their equal, and they treat you like they're equal, then those relationships go well um, with, with the three of wands. If they do not, it may be time for you to consider leaving that relationship alone. And maybe that's another reason for the king of swords um, and perhaps coupled with the ten of cups. This can be about um, divorce or separation of a family. Because it, it could be time for you to walk away. I'm not saying like your relationship is doomed. If the you know, <laughs> if you've been feeling like you're not, you haven't been equal, but you definitely got to talk about it. You know, and um, you guys got to be willing to work it out, to negotiate and figure it out and fix it. Um. So that's the three of pentacles in reverse. It's also a very spiritual card, the Three of Pentacles. It even looks like it, like on the card. It looks like these people are in church, maybe, or something, with some sort of officiate, you know, talking over them or, or to them. Reverse. Okay, so the card uh, representing your, like, surrounding energy. So it could be close friends, family members, co-workers. It could be your own energy, too. Is the Queen of Cups very nice, upright? So this is like the most loving card in the deck. The Queen of Cups, um, most directly, you know, in terms of traditional tarot practice, represents the sign of Scorpio, and it always reminds me of the sign of Scorpio because this she's actually holding um, like the holy supposed to be like the Holy Grail, this chalice here, and these are angels that are on either side. But they look like lobster claws to me. So like together, this whole thing looks like like a golden lobster. Uh, so I always think of the, the sign of Scorpio when I have the queen um, of cups. But, you know, it could also be, of course, Pisces, Cancer, or someone likened to those traits or attributes. It's not a water sign at all, very possibly. Surrounding energy. So, um... She's all about love and nurturing and compassion and um, support could be like a mother, you know, like an older woman, a mother feel because she is like the mother of all love, you know, as far as the tarot goes, just super supportive. If it's somebody in your work, um, you might have an actual woman at your job that's very helpful. Somebody trying to facilitate something for you um, in your context of love, you know, very positive omens and outlooks for your relationships if you're single definitely saying that you know it's a very positive time for you to meet genuine partners right now somebody who's again going to see you you know eye to eye respect you eye to eye hold you in high esteem high regard um you know and treat you right work and finance five of wands so this is about competition Five of Wands is a card for me that when it comes up, it, if it's not about conflict, like inner conflict, like one being conflicted, then it's conflict with close friends and or family or at work and or and their competition at work, too. But the positive thing about it is when it shows up specifically in your work sector, now it, does, it can mean that there's conflict um, and that there's competition. Absolutely. But. It means like it's in your favor to win. And maybe because, again, there's somebody that's helping you at the job. Maybe a female, maybe an actual water sign, somebody that can help you along or give you the you know good advice or something like that. The only way for you to lose here in this competition. So maybe you're competing again for the extra hours or the bonus, the raise, the job. You apply for a job. A lot of people want the same job, you know. Um, that's for what you're competing, whatever it is. The only way for you to lose for sure 
is for you to not try. You know how they say about lotto? Like you got to be in it to win it. You have to be in it. You have to be engaged. Again, you have to put your best foot forward, just like the three of pentacles says. And when you do, you have a, especially with the crossing, the queen of cups, you have a really, really good um, chance of, you know, a positive out an outcome in your favor here. But definitely... Also, like the Three of Pentacles said, in terms of work, don't try to take any shortcuts. Don't try to be slick. Don't try to like work around something or whatever. Like you got to play fair. Um, it may seem, you know, sometimes that those people that don't do right, that are evil or whatever, like you know, how come they always come up? And, you know, there's good people like we don't. It may look that way. Those wins are temporary. They're like, you know, the, the, I think there's a saying like that, actually, like those wins are never um, they're never, they're never permanent. There's karma at play right now, as, as we already discussed. So, um, your love life, love and romance. Oh, I didn't want, I didn't mention actual finances aside from work. So, um, money may be tight right now. <laughs> Again, also because this is in reverse and because the three of wands, um, is about patience. Like you could, there's probably a need for you to wait for something to come through and you may not be able to pay all your bills tomorrow. Right. And say, you know, immediately meet every obligation that you have, but that doesn't mean that you're not going to be able to meet them. In fact, again, the cards are uh, such that you will, it just may take a couple weeks um, for that to happen. And if you're here in the United States, that would actually align with this stimulus package that we're supposed to be uh, getting. I think it is like two or three weeks. They're saying we should within that time that we should have these, um, these, uh, $1,200 checks, or whatever one is going to do with that and love and ooh, love and romance. Okay. The wheel of fortune. So, um, Wheel of Fortune, face value. Let me give you that first. First of all, represents the planet Jupiter. Again, ruler of the sign of Sagittarius. So that's what this card is about. But also connected in general to the fixed signs. That's your fellow fire sign, Leo. That's Scorpio, Taurus, and Aquarius. That one that we keep talking about. Um, so... Those signs, I think, um, even more so than the others, you could be with could be with whom you guys are connecting over the next two weeks or already connected in terms of love and romance. So that's it. That's the face value of the Wheel of Fortune. Specific to what it means about love. Um, ignore the phone blew up situation if you're hearing that. <laughs> um Specific to what it means about love. <sighs> Similar to what I said about the three of wands and the committed relationships. Um, it, there, there could be some issues here. All right. And I use the word negotiation a number of times in talking about temperance which also represents the sign of Sagittarius and it definitely this card in your placement of love can definitely mean that your relationship needs to be renegotiated right it's not working for you or the other person anymore per se um, somebody's needs one or both um, aren't being met in the way that you know you would like so you're not being maybe loved or treated the way that you want maybe you're not being treated equal Maybe it connects to the three of wands that way. And you got to, again, consider walking away from the whole thing um, if you're not able to agree on how to fix it. Um, that It doesn't mean automatically, though, that your relationship is over. It's, it's over. It's doomed or whatever. Okay, because we, we can work on things. We can fix these things. 
but you it'll require action. And that's what fire is about too, especially you guys, right? Aries, you're ruled by the planet Mars, which is the planet of action. Guess what? I just re re realized why all the Aquarius energy keeps popping up. Mars, your ruler moved into the sign of Aquarius this week. I believe yesterday, the 30th. Um, it moved into the sign of Aquarius. So that explains that. Okay. Uh, <laughs> that, that, that air energy, this king of, this king of swords is very possibly you and your energy. You, the not, the no nonsense, say what you mean, mean what you say person that folks are not getting over on, but at the same time, fair, diplomatic, willing to look at all, you know, the other person's side and maybe to negotiate, to figure some things out. Awesome. Um, Yeah, so action's going to be required. Definitely going to be talking about what it is you need, what it is you want. And um, similarly, if you're single and looking for love, looking for a relationship, you also first need to get clear yourself on like what it is you're looking for, who you're looking for, and then make yourself available. If you're not able to go outside to do this because of what's going on, then again, maybe online. That's the, the Aquarian way. And your planet is in the sign of Aquarius. Again, this, um, for like the next month, I believe it is. So I went on a lot about these. Um, I do want to at least give you some advice from these though. So let's do that. And before I do, I'll mix them up. Planet of Action and Aggression, the Go-Getters, has moved into the planet of freedom and humanitarianism. And if you want to know more, more about what that may mean for you, you might want to check out my general reading. So my general readings, at the beginning of them, I always go over what's going on in the week, my weekly reading. What's going on in the week on the celestial calendar, on some of the um, cultural calendars, if I find out about different things, on the um, like religious calendars of the three Abrahamic religions, Christianity, Judaism, and Islam, and I talk about all those things. So this week, there was none of those things except for the celestial calendar had two events, one of which was your planet moving into the sign of Aquarius. The other was Venus moving into Gemini. Uh, okay. So you guys saw me shake them all, you know, well, cut them into a million different piles. We ended up with the 10 of summer back on top, but here's your advice. I'll do two. Major Arcana card five, unity, which represents the sign of Taurus. So a lot of this um, energy of the fixed signs, um, connected to you guys this time. So this represents the sign of Taurus. Again, the fixed signs are Taurus, Scorpio, your fellow fire sign, Leo, and uh, Aquarius. Embrace this time of deep spiritual growth. You may feel called to act as a mentor, to find a new teacher, or to spend time with others who are also on a sacred path. So the Hierophant is another one of these cards that is about commitment and contracts and you know, up to and even including marriage could be about one of those things or some of those things. But for me, it's also about um, sometimes we need to make adjustments to the people, places and things with which we surround ourselves. OK, because our our vibration, our spiritual vibration, I started this reading by talking about the conscious people for whom I read. Our vibration has increased to the extent that we no longer align, maybe even with some people that we love or loved. It just, it's just, we're, we're not, we're literally not, no longer in the same dimension, right? Our dimensional reality differs 
so much so that we can't see eye to eye anymore. Right. So that's why one of us or both of us are not having our needs met, for example, possibly in our relationships. So you need to change some of the people you see with whom you surround yourself, some of the places you used to hang out, you know, the things you used to do. You're not doing those anymore. You've moved on. You've you spiritually or in, and or emotionally matured beyond that. Maybe through nurturing your psychic vibration, your, your psychic awareness is increasing, too. And so you're receiving a lot of intuitive messages, the universe, your ancestors, whatever. It's guiding you. Um, stay away from that. Uh, move toward that. And you're listening. Things you used to do. Bad habits. You know, um, maybe you're beginning to drop them. Maybe because you're beginning to drop them, you got to stop hanging out with certain people. You know, when I used to smoke a lot of weed, I hung out with other people that smoked a lot of weed. And I, you know, and to pull back and maybe not spend my whole day smoking, then I stopped spending my time with people who spent their whole day smoking. You know, that sort of thing. Drinking, sexing, combinations of those, you know, you name it, whatever, gambling, whatever your poor habit is, eating, maybe. Um... Some of you may want to fall back from some of those things. And again, a Taurus may be particularly significant. Or maybe some of you guys are um, like Cuspians, you know, Aries, Taurus yourself. Also, Taurus is ruled by Venus, which I just mentioned too. That could be another reason why it's showing up here in your reading. For the feminine among us, it is more this earth energy. Again, maybe perhaps Taurus, um, but also potentially Virgo or Capricorn. And the Prince of Autumn, or, or Knight of Pentacles. So this is another card that talks about making slow but steady progress and the need to be patient. Like, we're going to get there. We're going to be able to pay all our bills. We're going to manifest that thing we've been focused on. We're going to, you know, meet the person that we want. We're going to develop the type of relationships we'd like to have. But not tomorrow, maybe. You know, it might take a little bit more time. It's important to make a detailed plan before starting any new endeavor. Once you have that plan in place, then you can take immediate action and get as much accomplished as possible. And again, an earth sign may be particularly significant for you. Um, wow. Okay. This is another super romantic card. Uh, the two of summer, two of cups. You're falling in love or experiencing a deepening of emotion in your current relationship. Marriages or romantic partnerships in distress can still be saved. Don't give up. This is a card of perseverance, of don't give up. Whatever you've been trying to manifest, including relationships, healthy relationships, you can achieve if you don't give up. Um, also, since this is a more of a general reading and not a love reading, these partnerships can be in any area of your life. They're just getting maybe resolved if there had been conflict, so maybe you're negotiating, finding a way to come together, whether it's a business relationship, a friendship, or a romantic partnership, or even something familial, right? You're working, you're working things out. These two cards together can definitely be, um, you know, some sort of romantic partnership, because again, this is commitment up to and even including um, marriage. So this could be like agreeing to enter some sort of commitment or working on our commitment, our partnership. And lastly, for the feminine archetype out there, it is back to your energy with the Ten of Spring or Ten of Wands. Difficulty that you've been experiencing coming to an end, right? Maybe because of this positive Ten here. Again, the Wheel of Fortune is about a reversal of fortune. And so if you've been having difficulty, then we move into a more positive space and energy. You're working far too hard. You may have a bunch of stuff on your plate too, as they say, like just too much going on. And um, if that's the case, definitely want to take some time to pay attention to yourself and to nurture yourself so you don't develop, you know, a health situation or something, um, high blood pressure or, um, oh, you know, again, develop a habit, overeating or whatever it is. However, some, we, we react in different ways to stress when faced with it. Working far too hard, the stress will soon become too much. Reach out for help from others. This is also about 50-50. Again, negotiation could be tied to uh, temperance <laughs> and the need to work together, figure something out together. 
be made whole again, where you were carrying the full burden, a full load of something. You need to share it with somebody else. Or if you felt burdensome or were burdensome upon somebody else, then, then that needs to happen in kind, you know, in, toward you. Reach out for help from others and take time to play and to enjoy life. I hope you guys have enjoyed your reading. I'll be back on the 15th or 16th for you guys. God willing. Namaste.